The purpose of this film is to stimulate your thoughts on how to properly operate a recreational boat. Watch closely and notice the boating errors that are committed. At the end of the presentation, we encourage you to discuss what you've just seen with the people around you. Good afternoon. Did we interview the boat? Yeah, we already have a car. Now we thought we'd get a boat. Mighty fine. Shall we look at some of the various models? Okay. Real good. Billy Tom Believe It. serviced and ready for you to go tomorrow. Sounds good. Now then, we need to see about getting uh, your numbers for the boat. I'll get you to sign this application, which you can take down to the Parks and Wildlife Department this afternoon. Let us know what the number is. We'll have it on your boat so you can go tomorrow. All right. We also have your owner's manual here, which I suggest that you study this evening so that you will know more about the safe operation of your boat. All right, sir. Do y'all have equipment for your boat? No, we don't. What kind of equipment do we need? Well, let us go over to the accessory department and we'll pick out what you need. Okay. Now, according to law, you will need some of the following things in order to operate your boat safely. A Coast Guard approved life preserver is required for each person on the boat. Okay. All right, your boat will come equipped with running lights. The combination light with the green on one side and the red on the other. This goes in front of the boat? This is on the front of the boat. The green is on the right side, the red on the left. Okay. What's this for? That is so that you can enable other boats to know which direction you're going. Oh, good idea. What about the headlights lights in the car? Well, rather than using headlights as on a car, we use a spotlight. Be happy to install one of these on your boat for you. Okay. All right, you will also need a fire extinguisher on your boat. Preferably one with a gauge so that you can tell when it's fully charged and operable. Mm -hmm. Now, Bill, if you're all going to be water skiing, a mirror is required on your boat. Okay. Preferably one of the wide angle design. All right. I better learn how to swim first. <laughs> Also, a horn is required on your boat. We will be installing an electric horn on your boat. Okay. Now, we have some other items which are not required by law, but are awfully nice to have on board. Okay, let's see some. You will need some rope. All right. An anchor so you can stop and go fishing, swimming. Okay. And a paddle is very handy. Yeah, just her size. Right. <laughs> Okay. Look at that now. That's what we need. Do we really? Sure we do. Okay. <laughs> you ready to write it up or can we add something else? Write it up. All right, sir. Hi. Hi. May I help you? I'd like to register my boat. Has your boat ever been registered before? No, ma'am. Okay, sir, would you please sign right here? Okay. Okay, sir, this will be your TX number. TX2301CK. Now, both the letters and numbers have to go on both sides of the bow of your boat. You can buy these numbers at a boat shop, a hardware store, or you can paint them on yourself. If you paint them on, they must be at least three inches high. These letters and numbers also must be a contrasting color to your boat color. This, sir, will serve as your temporary receipt. You must keep this with you whenever you're out in the boat. We will mail you a white plastic card and two Texas decals which go next to this number. 
but in the meantime, you may operate your boat with this paper receipt and this TX number on both sides. That's fine. Also, sir, here's a copy of the digest of the Texas Water Safety Act. If you have any questions concerning how to place your numbers on your boat or any operation of your motorboat, please consult this digest. That will be $9, please, sir. It's for a Class 1 boat, and it's good for two years. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Fix one sticker to each side of vessel, three inches aft of toward the stern and in line with the registration number as illustrated below. You could fall and hurt yourself. You load the boat while I park the car and trailer. Hey, partner, grab this line and hold this boat so I can get out of here. Look here, buddy. Come over here and let me show you how to tie a boat right. Tie it tight, but always tie that boat with a little slack in it so it can ride with the water. Y'all run on and have a good time. Be careful now. Say thanks a lot. You're welcome. much about boats, but I do know you have to store everything away so you don't be tripping all over it. Is that what you call a ship shape? I don't know, honey. Remember, I've never owned a boat before. You 
Remember, you have to keep a boat balanced. All aboard. Cast off. What do you mean? I'm trying to sound like a sailor. <laughs> that means get ready to go. I'll untie the stern line and you get the bow line. Aye, aye, sir. This is the bow line. Now, before we get started, remember, never move around in a small boat while it's moving. If you have to move around, bend over and hold on to something. Yes, sir. Aye, right, sir. That's better. Show the proper respect for your superiors. Be sure and turn on the blower before you start it. Gas in the tank. I'm sorry, Debbie. We shouldn't have cast off until we started the engine. Aye, aye, sir. Oh, cut it out. You really know how to hurt a guy. Stopping the engine's one thing we don't have to worry about. Y'all need some go water? Yeah, fill her up. All right. Could cause an explosion. You're kidding. It hasn't happened often. You have to be careful, though. Well, I didn't know boating was so dangerous. It's not like a car when you park a car in a field. Yeah. There's a lot of accidents with cars, too. Look how many there are. You just have to know the safety rules and follow them. You know them? Yeah, I know some of them. Boats have the right of way. There are rules for boating, just like there are traffic rules. Well, the boating rules are much older than the traffic rules. Well, what are they? Mm, I was afraid you'd ask that. Some of the most important rules are in the digest we got from the Parks and Wildlife Department. Oh, I put it in the glove compartment. Let me look at it. Mean. Right, I think. Oh, yeah, it says here that starboard is right. Then port must be left. Well, here comes the boat. Now we can practice our rules of the road. It says, pass port to port, giving one blast of the horn or whistle. Yeah. 
Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. You scared me. Are you sure? Yeah. What are you doing on this side of the lake? I blew my horn. Some lakes have different rules and regulations than others. If we've done something wrong, we're sorry. This lake has regulations says you're supposed to stay to the right all the time. This is the first time we've been out in our new boat. Get on your side of the lake before you scare someone else half to death. We're real sorry. Well, I was wrong, too. I should have had someone watching. I was watching my skier. That looks dangerous. If one of them fell off, what had happened? Oh, the boat would have probably run over them. They'd get hit by the prop. <laughs> If you fell overboard, what would I do? Well, I'd appreciate it if you'd throw me a life preserver. <laughs> but it would be a good idea for you to learn how to operate a boat. Oh, no, I'm scared. Look, it's me who would drown if you don't know how to operate a boat. But I don't want to. I'm not good at all at mechanical things. You can drive a car, so with a little care, you can learn to drive a boat. But a boat is different. Look, I'm the one who will drown if you can't operate the boat. Come on, honey, you don't want to leave me out there to drown, do you? Okay, what next? Okay, let me show you these controls. First of all, always turn on the blower. Next, put it in neutral. And... How do you put it in neutral? Right here. Okay, where are the brakes? There are no brakes. You're kidding. No. Well, how do I stop it if there are any brakes? Put it in neutral. Then in reverse. Well, where's reverse? You put it in neutral. Pull it back. Put it in reverse. Okay, where's drive? Push it forward for drive. Okay. Just like a car. Here we go. Now that's getting started with the bang. Well, I told you I wasn't very good at it. Now, when you get thrown from a horse, you get right back on. This isn't a horse, but it nearly threw us. <laughs> well, let's see. Next time, when you turn on the ignition, make sure it's in neutral, and just go through the movements very slowly, okay? When you put it in forward, very slow and steady. Okay. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. That a girl, slow, smooth, steady. Looking good. Mighty fine. This is kind of fun. Just run through it smoothly. Just a little bit of practice, I think you'll be an expert. <laughs> Mighty fine. Okay. Goose it a little bit. Let's go straight across the waves. That's looking good. Okay, watch the waves from this boat coming up here. All right, let's cut across, go straight across the wake. That a girl. Never try to ride down them. Gives you a lot better control. Cut across. Hey, you're doing fine. Not so hard, is it? Hey, let's stop over here and have lunch. Well, why don't you take over? It makes me nervous. I'll tell you what to do. Remember, we don't have any brakes. How could I forget? Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. OK. Now start the engine again. This time, leave it neutral. Look where you're going. Watch the waves. See which way they'll blow the boat. OK? OK. OK. Put it in forward. Here we go. Slowly. Had a girl. Looking good. OK? 
Okay, angle the boat. Right in here. Right in here, angle the boat, turn it, turn it. Right in here, looking good. Okay, coming around, turn it back. Put it in neutral. Slow down. You grab this line and tie it up before we blow away. Well, I never could parallel park. Oh, don't worry about it. That probably happens to a lot of folks the first time out. And I hope I haven't broken anything. Well, let me try to back this thing out. Why don't you get that paddle and go up front and push off? Okay, ready? Okay. Here we go. Push down on it. Let's go. All right. I can't get it out. Stuck. Good afternoon. I'm State Game Warden Jerry Joyce. Looks like you're having a little trouble with your boat. Yeah, we sure are. Throw me a line and I'll try to pull you off. The bottom's rather shallow here, but it's sand, so you probably haven't done any damage to your boat. When I start pulling, don't hold on to the line. I don't want to pull you out of the boat. Check your water safety equipment. I'd like to see your certificate of number. Oh, I think I put that in the glove compartment. Just a second. Okay, sir, that's fine. Now I'd like to see your life-saving devices. Oh, here. Here they are. Would you take them out of the package, please? Sure. All life-saving devices should be readily accessible. If you were in a hurry, it'd be hard to get into one of these. Oh, I see what you mean. What are you looking for? I'm looking for the U.S. Coast Guard approval number. Oh. U.S. Coast Guard approval number, and there's mm -hmm. a serial number there. All right. Well, why are you pulling at the straps? By mashing on them, you can tell whether the K-Pak filled bags are in good condition. I jerked on the strap to see if they're secure. Are they secure? They're in good condition. Now I'd like to see your fire extinguisher. All right, sir. The gauge says it's full. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to make a quick check of your engine compartment. I need to see your ventilation system and flame arrester. What's a flame arrester? 
There it is. What does it do? It's a device attached to the top of the carburetor. In case of backfire, it prevents the flames from possibly causing an explosion. The ventilation system are these ducts that carry the gas fumes out of the engine compartment to prevent a possible explosion. Okay. Engine from catching on fire. Hmm. Okay, what else, sir? Well, let me take a quick look at a quick check of your lights. We don't usually check lights in the daytime because they're not required by law for daytime operation. Oh, okay. How's that? They look all right. Everything's in good condition. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank we you. Appreciate it. take one of those boating courses. Yeah, I think so. Would you like to fly away? Would you like to fly Recreational safe boating. Read the Texas Skippers course, which is available free by writing the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, Austin, Texas 78701.